Hey, welcome in part four. So today we're gonna see how to implement the health for our character. So we're gonna click on the first person character and we're gonna find some empty space here in the event graph. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a custom event. So this custom event is fire when we need. So it's gonna fire the code that we need when it's time to so we're gonna call this regain health and from this we're gonna need a health variable that's gonna control the health of our character so i'm gonna click on variable i'm gonna call that health i'm gonna make sure that it's a float by clicking here so you can select float and i'm just gonna compile this so now the value is zero, which is good for now. So from that, we're gonna drag and we're gonna search for set timer by event. So I'm using a set timer by event because I don't want to use an event tick that's gonna be fire every frame. Instead of that, it's gonna be better performance if I use a time by event because I can put the time that I need here. So the time will be 0.5. So I want this to be fire every 0.5 seconds. So, and I want that to loop. So we're gonna make sure that we check loop. And here from the return value, we're gonna drag and we're gonna promote this to a variable. And I'm gonna call that health timer yes that's the thing that's good health timer reference i'm gonna call i'm gonna start by putting ref at the beginning there we go so this we're gonna need that later so from the event here we're just gonna go down and we're gonna add another event which will be the one that will be fire each time that we have that time by event fire off. So I'm gonna right click and search for custom event. And I'm gonna call that this one help regenerate. Regenerate probably didn't spell it right. No. Nope. I'm just gonna call that regain. Here we go. So I'm gonna take the top here and just plug it in the event here. There you go. So from that, we're gonna drag and search for branch, or you can always hold B on your keyboard to do a branch. So the condition of that will be equal, and it's gonna be equal to what or health. I'm gonna plug health right on the top here. So, and the number will be 100. And I'm gonna compile this. So basically when regain health get called, it's gonna fire this event. It's gonna go to this event here. That's gonna check if or health it's equal. If it is, well, we want to clear the timer here we don't want our health to keep going up we want that to stop at 100 so we're just gonna go up here and we're gonna search for clear and invalid timer by end all and what we want here well it's the reference for our health timer here so you can always plug it right there but if you don't want lines going all over the place, you can take your reference here and put it right there. So now from false, if our health, it's not equal to 100, we want to set our health. So we're gonna take health, just drag it right over the pin here, and it's gonna set our health. And we want to make sure that our health 
is not going over a certain value, right? So to do this, we're going to do a clamp and I'm going to take the one with a float here. So the value obviously will be our health. And the maximum will be 100 because we don't want our health to go above 100. But before doing that, it's the amount of, we're just going to move that down. So there, I mean, and we're going to do a plus and we're going to connect it right there. So this will be how much health we gain every 0.5 seconds. So you can adjust this number for the, the amount of health you want to gain. So if you want to remember this, what it's doing, you can always click on it and had a little comment and amount of health, health gain. There you go. So this is just gonna help you to remind yourself what this is doing. And if you select all of that and you press Q on your keyboard, it's just gonna put everything in line. So it's look a little bit better. Okay, so we have our health and we gain 0.1 health every 0.5 seconds, All right? So we're going to do another branch here. I'm going to hold B on my keyboard and I'm going to plug this right there. And I'm going to drag from condition here and I'm going to search for greater. I'm going to take greater or equal. And this, I'm going to put a certain number here. But first, I'm just going to plug that right here. And I'm going to put 50. And from false here, I'm going to drag. And this will be a reference to our interface. That Not an interface, but what the player is going to see when you play the screen. So I want that when the player has more than 50 health the screen will no longer flash so it's mean that you know in some games you have kind of blood around the, um around so we're gonna make sure that we can do this later so here because it's not ready yet we're just gonna select all that and i'm gonna press c and we're just gonna call that show blood overlay and I'm going to put that right here. So later when the UI will be created, we're going to be able to come back here and add this. But for now, I don't want to forget about it. So I'm just putting it right there. So what is doing for us? Well, when region health get called, it's going to fire up every 0.5 seconds. And it's going to loop and call the health region right here. And if our health is equal to 100, it's going to clear the timer, which is that event right here. So it's going to stop firing that. If our health is, for an example, at 75, it's mean that it's false. It's going to go to the health here, and it's going to add 0.1 to our health every 0.5 seconds, but no more than 100. And... When it's at 100, obviously, it's going to go there. Because every 0.5 seconds, all of that get fired up. And this here is just for later on when we're going to have our blood overlay on the screen. When we are above 50 health, the overlay will be disappearing. And if we're under, the overlay for the blood will appear on the screen. There you go. Perfect. So that's what will be done for this episode. So I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.